She's My Destiny is in. Field in line for the inaugural running of the Mute Mile Invitational. Start already. Now they're off for the Mute Mile Invitational. Jordan Rain staggers out at the back. Blue Vinyl also racing with the back markers along with Juke as they come charging down the back stretch. They make their way now toward the final six furlongs as they begin to sort themselves out on the lead and Mahogany has now gone and are going for it. Atomica is right there on the outside. In behind those a makeup artist. I've got Magic Races up next. She's my destiny just in behind them. A gap opens up to I Am Fred on the outside moving well as the field make their way now toward the final half of a mile. Excessive force is on the rail, just alongside Jordan Reigns. I am Fred fades back. Calculus is there. Blue Vine allows to make ground on the outside of horses. King Arthur is next as they charge away with Eagle One for company. One of a kind is racing next, uh, then toward the back of the field. That is Race Car and a Duke now asked to make late progress as the field arrive at the 516th. And it is Mahogany who has the lead at the top of the lane. Mahogany with it. Runaway Algo now in hot pursuit. Over against the rail and asked to close up that. She's my destiny, but it is Mahogany inside the final 316th who holds a commanding advantage. She's my destiny. Destiny is in hot pursuit. Here comes Jordan Reigns on the rail. Excessive force. Mahogany driven to the max in the Mute Mile. Inside the final 16th. Here now flying over against the rail. Excessive force bursting through. Race car is wide and excessive force wins the Mute Mile. Could be close between Duke, Jordan Reigns, Mahogany and then Calculus. In the winner's enclosure, the unofficial winner of race number 11, the Mute Mile Invitational. And number 10, Excessive Force, five-year-old chestnut horse by Broken Vow.
Fevered Kiss by Smart Strike, Red Orin Ingram, Mered Farrell, and Mount Brilliant Farms LLC, Own ACK Stable, Train Filippiani OD, the winning rider, Bebito Harvey, and that's a double on the day for Bebito Harvey and a very fine ride. Second, number five, Duke. Third, number four, Jordan Reigns. Fourth, number three, Mahogany. And fifth, number 11, Calculus. Final time for 1,600 meters, 141 flat. Yes, so the expensive Mute Mile has been won by the Maestro. That's what they call Philip Fiani, 14-time champion, trainer, Hall of Famer. Odds of 7 to 1 here. A lot of people going in, Philip, talked about Atomica and Mahogany. How confident were you that your horse could have done it? I was confident if he got a good chance around the bend and wasn't stopped, he'd have a good chance of catching them. How much confidence did its last run over six furlongs on the 12th of November give you? Because the horse finished really, really fast and overtook the front running horse and finished with a lot of relish. Well, in June, he had an operation for a broken splint bone. So that race was just used as a warm up and a prep for this one. And he needed an extra sharpener. Yeah, well, you've won scores of classics and super stakes races, but nothing as big as US $125,000. Philip, how does this feel? Feels nice. <laughs> Congratulations. There's a reason thank why you. they call you the maestro. And I'd like to thank Mr. Ariel and Solomon Sharp and Mr. Mute for this Thank you very event. much, Philip Fiani. Victor there of uh, the Mute Mile. And Bebito Harvey was the rider aboard. Bebito, what a run that was because you sat off the pace. You got a rail run that worked well for you. Talk us through the back stretch and your run down the home stretch. Well, first and foremost, I have to say thanks, thanks God every, for everything. I'm really so appreciated and overwhelmed for this. I and the trainer have been teaming up, coming a long way with this horse. And for today's race, it's the most prestigious race in the Caribbean. I just keep a calm head. The race is to get a clear break. 
don't get any lit down, watch the leaders, stay close to them as much as possible, because I know they will fall, because, you know, it's been eager out there, so I've been watching them from there, and just pick my position just at the right time to take more victorious. We were taking note, Bebeto, earlier on the race card that none of the leaders won today, apart from Regnant. So there was something about the track conditions that didn't favor the leaders. Uh, did that play on your mind as you went in? Yes, most definitely. This is a track that I train and lose my weight, get my fitness with everything. So I feel it under my own feet as well. So I know what, what I'm going to feel when I'm on the horse out there. I know that today is very fast and light. You have to be careful out there. And that's what I did. I just watched them very carefully and just strike when it's most important. I asked Philip the same question about how confident he was going in because Atomica and Mahogany were seen as the two horses to beat. Did you feel, especially coming from the win you had last month aboard this horse when you finished terrifically fast, how confident were you that you would have nailed them? Well, 100% confident. No difference about the race, it's just, it's just the first. Is big and mighty, but it's, that, it's the same as them running, just go confident and ride the race that you know and the ass that you know good. Excellent. Well said, Bebeta Harvey. Congratulations. Okay, thanks very much. Bebeta Harvey, with a tremendous performance in the saddle, sitting off the pace, watching the leaders battle, and he came storming through on the inside to get a win aboard excessive force at odds of 7-1 to one to win the Mute Mile. It's the richest race in the history of Caracom horse racing, 125,000 US dollars. Start the uh, Mute Mile Invitational, making the uh, presentation, Paul and Carol Mute, and they make it to Mr. Philip Fiani, OD, representing the winning owner, he's the winning trainer, the winning owner, ACK Stable. Well done, trainer. Also in the presentation party, Executive Chairman, SVL, Gary Peart. Next up, Mr. Paul and Carol Mute will present to Mr. Fiani once again, the winning trainer. That's Philip Fiani, OD, receiving from Carol Mute. Next on the podium, Nicholas Mute will present to the winning rider, very fine rider, Bebito Harvey, and he has copped a double on this very special day, the inaugural running of the Mute Mile. Well done, Bebito. Don't think Bebito is going to sleep tonight. He won this richest race in the English speaking Caribbean. He's all smiles. And uh, last but not least, Presentation by Mr. Brent Sankar to one of our legends, Winston Fanner Griffiths OD, will collect for the groom. And the winning groom, Dave Biggs. So that's Brent Sankar to the great man, Winston Fanner Griffiths OD. So congratulations to the winning connections of the very rich Mute Mile, the inaugural running. And we'll take this opportunity to thank all the sponsors today. We know it, is, it will be continuous, so for their kind and continuous sponsorship on Mute Mile Day. And we hope to see you next year. Congratulations to all. And uh, let me now turn, your, turn you over to Michael Kane. He'll rehash the happenings on Mute Mile Invitational Day.